Welcome back and prepare to be bedazzled because today I'm going to be showing light why 0.25% reduction in interest rates on mortgage loans, automobile loans, and credit cards will not stimulate the economy. So why does this happen to be the case, you may ask. Without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much to my dismay, much to my consternation, much to my chagrin, much to my grief, much to my agony, much to my agitation, and much to my irritation, a uh, reduction of 0.25% in interest rates on mortgage loans, automobile loans, and credit cards will not significantly reduce the amount that indebted people acquiesce to paying in recurring interest fees on their outstanding debts. If your credit card's annual percentage rate is reduced from 30% to 29.75%, it's not going to make a significant difference in helping you to pay off your outstanding credit card debt. If your mortgage loan interest rate is reduced from 12% to 11.75%, it's not going to have significant bearing on helping you to pay off your outstanding mortgage loan debt. If the interest rate on your automobile loan is reduced from 16% to 15.75%, then it's not going to have significant bearing on helping you to pay off your automobile loan debt. So. The interest rates need to be reduced by significantly more than an infinitesimal amount to help the indebted economic class to be able to become debt free. When people pay recurring interest fees on outstanding debts, they do not receive any products nor any services for doing so. Paying recurring interest fees on outstanding debts constitutes a sunk cost. I hope that you deem this video to be riveting, captivating, mesmerizing, insightful, enthralling, engrossing, intriguing, amusing, and fascinating. I hope that you're entrenched in the unalloyed epicness. Thanks for watching. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.